So uh, here's a little example of the environment that we're going to use to learn assembly. Uh, we're going to be using the NetWide Assembler and the uh, Kimu Virtual Machine. I'm going to be using VS Code for my code editor. Um, I'll go about setting up these in a bit. Um, and then probably the next videos we're going to step away for a bit and talk about the actual architecture of the 8086 and the x86 architecture in general. But yeah, the, the goal in this video is to uh, get our environment set up and uh, create a little bootloader to make sure that everything's working correctly. Just a fair warning, I am on Windows. I'm not too sure about setting this up on other operating systems. So you might have to look around the internet for your specific operating system setup. We are at nasm.us. I'm going to hit the download button. And I'm going to uh, hit the uh, top directory without any of those RCs behind it. And then I'm going to go to Win64. And I'm going to choose the installer for x64. And if you're on a 32-bit, obviously you would use the 32-bit installer instead. Then once you have that installed, uh, make sure you remember where you installed it. Uh, we're going to go to Kimu, and then we're going to hit the download button, and click the Windows button, and again, 32 or 64-bit, click on that. Then uh, I usually find the top executable right here, right underneath of the old, and uh, that should be your Kimu installer. And again, uh, remember where you installed that. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, type in edit the system environment variables in our search bar. And I'm going to click that. And I'm going to go over here and click the environment variables button. And we want to go to the second box below the user variables called system variables. And you want to click on your path and you want to hit edit. And now I already have this set up, but what you're going to do is you're going to click new and then you're going to put the uh, directory that your NASM and your Kimu is in. As you can see, mine are already in here with uh, the NASM and the C program files Kimu. So again, you just hit new and you put in your Kimu and your NASM directories. Here's our Kimu and our NASM folders that we just downloaded. And uh, yep, all you'd have to do is uh, copy and paste these directories into your new paths like that, and uh, that should set you up. And then after you hit OK and apply and all of that, uh, we're going to go down to the search bar, type in CMD for command, and uh, to test if everything's working, we're just going to type in NASM, hit enter, and it'll say NASM fatal, no input file specified. That's good. That means we're working. But for Kimu to test it to see if we're working, we're going to type in Kimu dash system dash x86 underscore 64. When you hit that, uh, Kimu will pop up and it'll say that it's um it's failing to boot, which is okay. So everything's working fine. Uh, we can now start making our bootloader. Again, I'll be using VS Code, and uh, make sure to check the box whenever you download it for the. Uh, open with code in the um, pop-up menu whenever you right click on a folder. I like that feature. Um, I installed the VS Code extension for x86 assembly by 13x forever. Um, it's really good for highlighting the uh, assembly text. Right, let's do some actual coding. So we're going to uh, make a folder. I just made a folder called real mode because that's the mode we're going to be booting in. And uh, I'm just going to right click and open with code. And uh, we'll be on our way here. Uh, I'm going to hit the uh, new file. And I'm going to make a file called um, assemble.bat. So that would be a batch file. Then I'm going to make another file called uh, boot.asm asm for assembly. And, uh, I'm going to rip some stuff from my operating system to create this. So I'm going to look at my batch file really quick. So we're going to use NASM to assemble our assembly file into a binary. 
So in our batch file, I'm going to go ahead and do nasm boot dot asm dash f bin then dash o as um, os dot flp a dot flp file or you could do a dot img file it doesn't really matter but uh, I'll just do dot flp for the output file and uh, I'm going to go ahead and save that uh, I'm going to go back to my file explorer and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click the assemble batch file and uh, we should see our os.flp show up. Um, yours probably won't have the uh, FL Studio project file type. Um, it just so happens that the floppy disk image file type is the same as the FL Studio file type. So don't let that confuse you too much. Um, I'm actually going to put a pause after this so that we can see our command prompt actually assembling it. I'll go ahead and save that. You want to make sure that you save your files before you assemble or else it won't assemble the correct version. And there's that and there's you know, NASM working. Alright then after our NASM we're gonna go ahead and type kimu dash system dash x86 underscore 64 then we're going to do space dash drive and space the format equals raw with a comma and then the file equals os dot flp or the img extension uh, whichever you put it and I'll go ahead and control s save that really quick and uh or go ahead and assemble it. And uh, our Kimu is opening up. And it's still not uh, reading from the boot disk. So we have to uh, make our bootloader. So we're going to get kind of cryptic here. Um, you're probably going to be typing a bunch of stuff that you have no idea what it means. Um, it's good though. We're going to go over architecture and memory and memory maps in, you know, in the upcoming videos. And do some assembly coding along with that. So uh, just uh, bear with me. So <clears throat> I'm going to do the square bracket ORG for org. And then I'm going to do 0x7c00. Now that is a hexadecimal value of 7c00. Right? And then I'm going to do a line. It'll say times 510 minus these uh, dollar signs. It'll be a dollar sign minus two dollar signs inside of these parentheses. And then I'll do a space with a DB. Then after that, I'll just put zero. And then a line under that, we're going to do DW for define word. And then we're going to do another hex value, zero X. And uh, we're going to do AA55. Five five. And now, underneath of the org, we're just uh, going to go ahead and do, uh, we're going to name this start with a colon. That'll be our start procedure. And then we're just going to put JMP for jump. And then we will put a, uh, we'll, we'll just put start there. So this will loop back to start forever. It'll keep the processor halted. We'll go ahead and save that and assemble it. And uh, there we go. We are booting from hard disk. We have successfully booted. Um, you can't do much. Hope you guys are at the same place I am. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments, and uh, I'll try my best to help you out. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.